solving logarithmic equations, functions. I'm getting tons of mail from you guys, and I appreciate the mail asking me about this stuff. And so I chose this problem, and I chose this problem because this because this problem sucks. But let's try to work this out, and I'll show you what I mean. We'll do it really easily, but you'll it's not it doesn't kind of jump out at you. So when I first started working on this problem, I have to admit I went down a couple of different roads, and I was like, okay, it. There's more than one way to solve it, but this is the easiest way. So, first off, this is what I'm hearing from people. They're like, because we talk about the fact that log functions are one to one. So they're like, so if you, so if for example, you had ln of x is equal to ln of q. As long as these logs agree, that is to say, this is log base e and this is log base e, isn't it? Then we know that x has got to equal q. Because they're one-to-one -one functions. They're not, what, by saying one-to-one, -one, here's a function that's not one-to-one. -one. Let's say this is x squared. So possibly on x squared, you'd have, well, definitely on x squared. If you had negative 5 here, then you'd have 25 here, wouldn't you? But also, it's possible. So if I said to you, what x value satisfies the condition that y has to equal 25, then it would be accurate given this function that we're looking at right this second, that... You could say, well, Charlie, it's either x is either negative 5 or 5, and you'd be right. But log functions are not like this. They're one-to-one -one function. That is to say that no two x values have the same height. So we're allowed to do that. So, what, But people start to take that out, and they're like, okay, well, this is, I'm going to apply that rule here. And they look and like, oh, look, I'm just going to drop this and this. Yeah, but this, right, this piece right here, this 1, is not a, of logarithmic form, so you can't drop that. So you have to kind of think your way through this a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, is I'm going to move all my ln stuff to one side, and let's see what happens if we do that. So that will give me ln of x, right? And then I'm going to add ln of x plus 2 to both sides, right? So that gives me, it gives us ln of x plus 2 is equal to 1. Now we know here, and this is where we're getting our rules together here, that if we have a, a plus sign here, then what, that's, what that says to us is that we're going to multiply this times this, right? And that, remember that rule is ln of a plus ln of b is equal to ln of a times b, right? So this is one of the very first primary rules of logarithms. I'm just going to apply that rule that I know. So I'm going to multiply... I'm going to end up with x times x plus 2 here, right? And it's going to be ln of that thing, isn't it? Is equal to 1. I'm going to go ahead and distribute. Right, this x right here is this one. And this x plus 2 obviously is this one. <clears throat> I'm going to multiply it in and get ln of x squared plus 2x is equal to 1. So this is where people kind of got screwy and they were like, okay, they were kind of done talking about this. They were kind of, uh, yeah. So I'm going to switch this out. I just want you to take a look at this. It's, this is just a game, and you have to be thinking about it that way. This is just a game. So I'm going to write, rewrite ln, and we know that ln, right, ln of x is exactly the same as log base e of x. It's just better notation, right? ln, uh, who is it? Uh, it's Euler, I think. So uh, uh, logarithm natural. So ln it should be nl for us maybe whatever so that's my explanation of that at two o'clock in the morning or whatever time it is it's equal to one now think about this for a sec because i want to show you what i'm going to do here if we have log base five of 25 is equal to two what that means is this we're going to take this base right here and we're going to raise it to this power and set it equal to that thing aren't we right so that's all that I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this out of logarithmic form, putting it into exponential form. So I'm going to take this, let this e be this 5, and this 1 be like this too. I'm just going to take this and raise it to that power, right? I'm not getting rid of the log. I'm switching out of logarithmic form. So now we have x squared plus 2x is equal to e to the first power, right? So e to the first power. Now, the other thing that happens is we don't know where to stop. You have to keep this in mind also that E, E is not A or Q or Z. E is Euler's number, right? And somebody's out there saying it's Euler. It's not, it's Euler. But it, that's Euler's number, right? 
it has a value, 2.71, and there's a bunch of crap numbers at the back of it. And I don't expect you to know that, but I do, ex I do think it's fair for mathematicians to know that E is, is actually a number um, in the same way that pi is a number, right? And Euler's number is not pi, so I'm not saying that. I want to hear about it. So x squared plus 2x minus E equals 0. Why did I do that? Well, this is in, this is in quadratic form, isn't it? So now what I would do here is this, and I actually did this math, and it sucks. But what I did was I put this into, I used the quadratic formula here. So I used the quadratic formula. If you remember it, you got to remember it. And the quadratic formula, which is based on Pythagorean formula, isn't it, is that x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, right? all over 2a. So that's all I'm going to do now is that. I'm going to say a is equal to 1, isn't it? b is equal to 2. And c is equal to e. Remember, e is the number e, Euler's number. And I'm going to just start filling in the blanks here. Um, and that's what I suggest. I'm not going to waste any more of your time with this. But if you do this math and you want to know what my answer is, I'll gladly tell you. And I think, I'll think, what's my answer? I think I just broke it out to here, and there's more to do. Negative 2 plus square root 4 times square root 1 minus e all over 2. And that can be simplified down a lot. So forgive me for not doing that. I just don't want to waste your time. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I really hope it helps. The logarithm thing, you can really do it. It's going to pay off for you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and your comments are always welcome.